Because you don't even play tennis. If I'm going to spend $100 for a pair of tennis shoes, I not only expect you to play the game, I expect you to play at Wimbledon. Mother, you don't play tennis in these. What do you do in them? Well, you just wear them. No! Uh-uh. No way! It's not fair! What's not fair? Every girl at school is wearing these new shoes, and Mom won't let me get a new pair. Well, I'll tell you what. I got an idea. What? You want a new pair of sneakers? They're not sneakers, Dad. Mm, okay, what, whatever it is you call them, you got them. Thanks, Dad. I knew you'd understand. I know. Just as soon as you can pay for them. Help wanted? Yeah. Like working some pizza joint? Mm -hmm. Or one of those photo booths at the mall where all my friends can't? Ew, I don't think so. <sighs> That's it. I am finished. Washed up in the fourth grade. Look at me, a total failure. Tough day, Marty. Tough. First, I lost my lunch. Then I get tripped in gym. Then a bug flew up my nose. But then I found my lunch. And then I found the bug. Then I really lost my lunch. And now everybody avoids me. Aww. Yeah, and to top it off, I get an assignment in Mrs. Baumgartner's class on how natural disasters would affect a normal family. I got earthquakes. Why? Is that going around? <laughs> oh, now, come on, honey. That shouldn't be so hard. And I'm sure your father would be happy to help you. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. No more projects for me. Besides, why don't they teach kids important things in life, like, uh, frying bologna or uh, refilling the ice cream? You don't get it. Just don't get it. This is supposed to be how an earthquake would affect a normal family. We don't have a normal family. I decided to sell my hair to pay for the shoes. I see what you mean. That's nice, dear. You'll be bald, but maybe with those nice shoes, no one will notice. Where are you going? Tara's. Oh, be back for dinner. Whose turn is it to cook? Your father's? Oh. Your mom's. All right. Now, Marty, go on, get started on that project. I'm sure your father can help you put together a fine report by Monday. No, 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 me no. Me and I'm Dad? Oh. oh, great. Yes, great. If anybody needs me, I'll be outside playing in rush hour traffic. Okay. Larry. Marty. Larry. Ned. Larry. Rose. Hey, guys, I need a small favor. You know that, huh? Larry needs a favor from us. Well, wonders never cease. Here's the deal. My nephew from San Bernardino is visiting this weekend. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, great kid. Only problem is the airline just called. I've got to fly the red eye to New York tonight. New York? <laughs> that is a problem. Right. So I need someone to look after Derek until tomorrow. Derek? My nephew. No. Great. Thanks. Wait. No. no Larry. Larry. No. No. You See, uh, I got the uh, mother-in-law coming over. I've got a whole house. Hey, what's up? You must be Derek. See you tomorrow. <laughs> be good, you hear? Hi, Larry. Hey, hey Larry. Um, can Terry eat over? Why ask? You're together so much, we don't know which one of you is ours. <laughs> That's what my mom says, too. <laughs> uh, girls, want to say hello to Derek? Hi. Oh, hi, Derek. Nice shoes. You play tennis? <laughs> tennis? <laughs> Well, my dear, another conquest in the culinary arts department. Oh, thank you, thank you. Good. Volunteers uh, for KP? Mm. Guess what? You filled the ice cream. No, better. Derek's from California. We know, dear. They have earthquakes all the time there. He knows all about what to do. And he has a normal family. <laughs> Except for his Uncle Larry. What's all this about earthquakes? Oh, well, Marty's got a report to do on earthquakes, and your father's offered to help him. Uh, no, uh, no. You got Dad involved? Last time Dad helped Marty with the school project, the house almost burnt down. Uh, now, <laughs> wait, wait just a minute now. Volcanoes aren't realistic unless they spurt fire, right? Besides, you guys relax. 
It's not like we're in any real danger of an earthquake around here. Well, well, that's not really true. Mm -hmm. mm. California is not the only place that has earthquakes. Actually, you can have one here too. Yeah, he's right. Scientists say that there's gonna be this really major earthquake east of the Rockies in our lifetimes. And for that matter, almost the whole country's at risk. Wow. Except no one knows exactly when. How do you know these things? I don't know these things. <laughs> oh, well, Marshall Flankman was my partner for the geology project last semester. <laughs> Marshall Flankman? The guy with the briefcase and the pocket protector? Damn <laughs> Pete! Ew! Yeah, well, I got an A. Well, anyways, there's gonna be a quake, and no one knows exactly where. Or when. Somewhere there's a crack in there's crust. Maybe a fault not far from here. Or there'll be a buildup of energy. A disturbance below. A fault will weaken. You can't stand the strain. The pressure. Then. Oh! 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 Look, Derek, you know a lot about earthquakes. How about you tell me how they handle quakes in California? And with this book I got from the library, and you, I got it made. Okay, so I need to get the drill. You need the drill? Yeah. Hey, Dad! Where's the drill? On the shelf, next to the water heater. Okay. Oh, there it is, right there. So we're gonna have to drill. Stop! <laughs> put down that... <laughs> no, sure. You could, uh, put your eye out with that thing. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, sure, Dad, but how did you... Home Earthquake Hazard Hut. Ah, where'd you get this? Mrs. Baumgartner gave it to me. Oh, really? Huh. Plumber's tape. That's good stuff. And I can do this. What? No, just, 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 busy. Cement. Marty, is your dad always like this, man? Sometimes it's worse. Much worse. Velcro strips, flex lines. Shh. Boys, we got work to do. All right, what I need now is some plumber's tape. Tape? You're telling me tape is going to stop an earthquake? Not just any tape, my boy. Plumber's tape. Great stuff. It's an old popular mechanics trick. In case of an earthquake, this thing won't shake loose. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> this thing shakes loose. We got a gas leak. Next thing you know, bam! <laughs> Should do the trick. Okay, Marty, what do you do if you smell gas? Uh, get out of the house. Right. But it's also important to turn the gas off because there could be a leak. And it's important to call the gas company and wait for them to turn it back on. Uh, that's a good idea to know how to turn off the electricity and water, too. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Just as I thought. What's wrong? Well, the house isn't connected firmly enough to the foundation. Is that serious? Oh, uh, you betcha, Red Rider. You gotta do some reinforcing up there. Sink some uh, bolts into the concrete. You know, that prevents it from shifting. Well, come on, guys. You got a lot of work to do. Size 15. Ma'am? Hmm? Do you think I could look like this? Oh, except for one small detail. What? Heredity. <laughs> All right, men, spread out. Ned, honey. Not, so, not to worry, dear. Everything's under control. Just a little quake-proofing going on to make this house safe. Oh, I don't know which is more dangerous, an earthquake or turning you loose. Ah! Laugh it up, dear. But you're in a very precarious position. Mm -hmm. Hanging plant. And an earthquake, boom. Is dead all right? I'm all right, but you're not. Why? We were just reading. Behind you, the entertainment center, not fastened to the wall. In an earthquake, bam! <laughs> that picture, same thing. Got to get that thing fastened. Same goes for the mirror in your room. I'll pick up some special quake grip Velcro. That ought to do the trick. Maybe we'd better move someplace safer. Like your house. <laughs> Her house probably has the same problems. We learned that in earthquakes, most people get hurt by things falling on them, flying out of cabinets or off the walls, not by the roofs or walls collapsing. Well, I'm off. <laughs> I can see that, dear. To the hardware store to get the things needed to 
Help this family survive an earthquake. You promised me no more tools. Fine, no more tools. What we need are batteries. Long life alkaline batteries. <laughs> uh, Marty. I know your father can sometimes be psychotic, embarrassing, weird, uh, zealous, but you know he means well. Anyway, how you come along on that report? Well, fine, I guess. We're ready for an earthquake, but I still don't know what to do during an earthquake. That's easy, man. I learned that in kindergarten. All you gotta do is duck and cover. Duck and cover? Right, duck and cover. Just dive under a desk or something so no broken glass or plaster or whatever falls on your head. Not me, I'd run outside. <laughs> no, they say stay inside. It's a whole lot safer. I thought you were supposed to get under a doorway. The important thing to do is to get under a strong piece of furniture so things don't fall on your head, right? Right, but you all just remember, duck and cover. Have you ever been in an earthquake? Yeah, once at school. It was a 5.5 and books and things were falling off the shelves. Oh. Everybody knew what to do so nobody got hurt but the little kids were pretty shook up. Wow, I bet they let school out. Cool, I wish we could have an earthquake. <laughs> well, actually they make everybody stay. What for? First thing I'd wanna do is go home and make sure everything was all right. No, honey, I, I think it's a good idea to stay at school in one place so your father and I know where to find you. Who would you get first, me or Marty? Mm, Miss Cleanest. <laughs> But if you're already outside during an earthquake, you're supposed to stay outside. I thought you just right. said that. Okay. Basically, you're supposed to stay where you are. In a safe place, that is. Outside, that means away from buildings or anything else that can fall on you and hurt you. But uh, remember, stay away from power lines and chimneys, too. But what if you're in a car, say, on the way to piano lessons? Skip the lessons. Yes! <laughs> Marty. Your father and I pay good money for those lessons. Listen, Marty, in an earthquake, the last thing you'd be worried about is chopsticks. Just pull over to the side and stop, and stay away from bridges and power lines. And it's very important to listen to the radio. Like Z104 for the best, man. And fewer commercial breaks. <laughs> no, no, no. For emergency information, the radio is very important. Back home, Everybody knows what stations to listen to in case of an emergency. So we find out what we should do next, like uh, shelter locations, if it's safe to stay in the neighborhood, you know, stuff like that. Radios do play something other than that disco stuff you kids listen to. This from a woman who thought Holland Oates was farm chore. <laughs> <laughs> yuck, yuck, cover. Phillips head. It's a torque driver. I said, Phillips head, Phillips head. Phillips, torque driver. Oh, you men take your tools so seriously. <laughs> Go. These dishes aren't going anywhere. Ned, you're more excited about Marty's project than he is. Honey, you're really going all out. The, the hardware, Velcro, the cupboards, flex lines on the stove. Rose, snap out of it. If the experts are right and there is an earthquake, a few bucks of prevention is smart thinking. Um, uh, ma'am, why is Marty trashing the living room? What? <laughs> I've got to tell you, I told Marty he could have an earthquake drill. A what? <laughs> All right, troops. Oh, Marty. Looks like the house is structurally safe. You were right when you said this family is a normal man. Yeah, but this might be fun. I mean, when was the last time you got to trash your living room? Okay. There's been an earthquake. Uh -huh. What do we do now? Watch TV. Yeah. Oh, no. No electricity. First thing we do is check for injuries. Then we make certain we have enough to survive on our own for 72 hours. Now, does everybody know what to do in case of an aftershock? Aftershock? You mean there's gonna be more of these things? Yep. It says right in here, there could be some. So, just in case, we should use the family meeting place. Like the one we use for fire drills. That's it. Outside by the treehouse. That way everybody knows where everybody is, right? Yes, sir. All right, Derek, you have the checklist? Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, ladies. Handle the survival kit. 
<laughs> okay, water. Sack. There's enough water in there to last us three days, if we're careful with it. And if you run out, there's some water in the hot water heater in an emergency. Flash light with extra bulbs. Always. <laughs> Portable radio with batteries. Dibs. Tough luck in a tiny break. This is for emergency use only. Right. Matches and candles. <laughs> but only if we know there's no gas leaks. Right. Food. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We save the canned stuff. Eat the stuff that can go bad first. Like ice cream? Got it. No, then broccoli. <laughs> but how do I cook if I don't have a stove? Barbecue outside. Oh, you're best at that, honey. Can't open it. Nerd. I knew we forgot something. Tools! Check. Are you kidding? First aid kit. Check. That's not much of a first aid kit. Back home, a lot of people have trauma first aid kits, and they have a lot more stuff in them. But, uh, that'll do in a pinch, right. I suppose. Fire extinguisher. Check. There's one on each floor of the house, too. And you store all this in a garbage can. Right, but it has to be waterproof and portable. Well, now what do we do? I'd call Tara. Yeah. No phones. No phones. No phones, emergency use only. Oh, and by the way, if you find one off the hook, put it back. If there's no dial tone, just wait. And don't go around jiggling the hook. Just messes up the lines, and it could take a lot longer. Oh, and by the way, I uh, called your Aunt Clara in Boise. You called my sister? Oh. That's right, Miss Richter. You should have one person out of state to relay information to everybody. That way, your phone lines won't be jammed with people trying to call in to you. Clara relays information like CNN. <laughs> Ned? Larry? Rose? Larry. Derek. Derek? Right here. What happened? This place looks like an earthquake hit it. It did. His name's Ned Richter. <laughs> okay. We survived the big one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a drill. Marty had to do a report for school, so I thought we'd help him out a bit. You sure go full scale, don't you, Victor? <laughs> All right, Lorenzo. And you know what? Next week at the Neighborhood Association meeting, I'm going to make sure all our neighbors on the block know about earthquakes so that we can help each other out when one hits. And there's something else. Some of those neighbors have special skills. Could be pretty helpful. You know, Tina, like that Mr. Macho lifeguard you've been wanting to meet. Can I watch MTV now? Yes. Earthquake drill officially over. Dismissed. <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you. What about this lifeguard? Come here. What about the lifeguard? Side. Mom, you know those expensive shoes I wanted? Mm, I seem to recall something to that effect. Well, I have an idea. Tara knows this guy at the health club who says there's an opening for a tall girl in Health club? Tall girl? Guys? <laughs> we'll talk. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> yes. Hi, right, little guy. How'd your uh, school report go to? Like the San Andreas. What do you mean? Didn't Mrs. Baumgartner like it? Like it. She loved it. She loved it so much. She made the whole class prepare for an earthquake. What to do during and after. Oh, what's wrong with that? She gave me a special project for the science fair. Not another earthquake drill, I hope. Oh, no. This time I get to choose my own subject. Oh, yeah? What is it this time? Killer bees! <laughs> It moves and it shakes you, completely overtakes you. Just no way for you to get loose. The ground starts ripping and the kids start dripping. And it's time for people to shake a caboose. Well, it's no joke. It's no fling. Just duck and cover from the seismic thing. Duck, seismic thing. 
Seismic thing, moving and shaking with the seismic thing. Yuck, 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 cover. Seismic thing. Y'all be ready, y'all be steady when the shaking starts. Don't play the fool, stay alert, keep your head, don't start to dread. In your home, outside, or right at school. When the shaking is over and the aftershocks ring, you'll know you've had a visit from the seismic thing. Seismic thing, seismic thing. Moving and shaking with the seismic thing. Seismic, seismic thing. Though it may be nasty to this, you should clean. You must be ready for the seismic thing. Oh, I forgot to toilet to 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 you. <laughs> I told Marty he could have an earthquake drill. Oh, uh, what? Careful. Charles Bronson would never allow that. That was special. That was special. <laughs> that was for the real. Seismic thing. That's all.